Hey, I'm Chris, I'm a gearhead, and I live in Las Vegas. Now, lately I've been going into my uh, Roland Kitar collection, um, mostly because uh, the last two Kitars I've gotten were from Roland and I've fallen in love with them. But uh, lately, in order for me to battle my, uh, my challenge with gas, with gear acquisition syndrome, I've decided to fall back in love again with all of the gear that I already have. So, moving on from my Roland like collection, I wanted to move on to Korg. Now, I know that Korg has an RK, a new RK100S out. This is the original. This is the second um, RK100, the first RK100S, but the second in the series of the RK100 Kitar series. Now, I have covered this guy in uh, rhinestones. And just to make it a little bit more glamorous, more glitter, fashion, fame. Um, and I'm using it today as a MIDI controller because in all of my Korg products, my favorite things that I have are my Korg, my Korg Vokas. Now, originally, I had a Korg RK100, which is just a MIDI controller from the 80s, and I decided that I wanted to open up and expand my ideas of sound. So I started to pick up small sound modules and in doing so in hunting for sound modules in the Korg family, I found the Korg Voca series. Now this is the beginning of my Korg Voca series. Now I believe there's up to 10 with variations on several of the Korg Vocas. Now the originals are these three. This is the Korg Voca Beats, the Korg Voca Keys, and the Korg Voca Bass. These are the three original Vokas, and I believe after it came this Voka FM. And I believe the mix came in, the kick came in, that's the Voka sample. The Voka sample has a Voka sample 2 now with the USB output jack. And I believe this is the Voka sample arc, um, OK Go, which has samples all from um, an OK Go album. Uh, this is the Voca drum. It's a cool synth drum. These are the Voca mix. They they pretty much work as a mixing board and a power source for your Vocas. This is the Voca new bass. It's basically the Voca bass, but um, it's using like a vacuum tube right there in order to make the sound like a vacuum tube oscillator. And the one that I am missing that I'm not quite ready for is the Voca module. And the vocal module, it's pretty cool. I hear it's really, really hard to program. I don't want to get it just because it drones. But basically, <clears throat> these are my vocas, and I'm going to let you know exactly how they're all wired and why I dig them. Now, again, the RK100S is a pretty darn cool synthesizer uh, guitar on its own. It's got its built-in sounds. But right now I'm using it as a MIDI controller just to show you all the different things that you could do on the Korg Vokas and what kind of different sound modules they really are. Now, the cool thing about the Korg Vokas is that they're more or less, each and every one is a recreation of synthesizers from the past and synthesizer technology from the past. They're using modern day technology in order to uh, make the sound of um, synthesizers from the 1980s and late 70s and I believe in the 90s as well, and using modern day like technology, using modern day like synthesis. So the cool thing about the original three Korgs is they're all analog. Uh, the Korg Beats, it's not the best Korg, it's not the best drum machine, but it's what they first started off with. So if you wanted a good beat um, maker, the Core Voca Beats is a good little drum machine. It has a sequencer on it. It has uh, different ways you could tweak the sound. The cool thing about the Core Voca Bass and the Core Voca Keys is they are both analog synthesizers and you can manipulate the sound. You have 100% control of the sound if you wanted to get into sound synthesis, if you want to really understand editing sound. Um, the Core Voca FM is a little recreation of an FM synthesizer. It's only got, I believe, six to eight different algorithms on it. But if you've never messed around with an FM synthesizer and you don't have the money to get a DX7 or a DX100 and you still wanted to 
kind of mess around with FM synthesis with buying an, without buying an old keyboard. The new bass is basically a Voca bass, but it's got that one weird, uh, like, um, basically it's, it's got this weird, It's got this weird vacuum tube thingy. And now I can't honestly tell you if it makes the sound any better or any worse. But let me show you how these are all tied in. Right now, I'm gonna emphasize on these first three Vocas. Again, this is the Voca, the Voca beats, the Voca bass, and the Voca keys. All the first Vocas and they are all tied into this guy, into the vocal mix. I'm going to play a couple of beats on each one of them and show you how they can all tie together. Let's see. Let's start with a bass. It's a start. Let's see if I can't pull a bass out of this, out of the vocal bass. Let's see if I can't add on something up top. Now these are all wired through that and going through these little amps. Now I'm going to try to go through all four, all four of these vocals all together and play a bass line and then maybe a trumpet and then play a lead on top of that just to show you how these could all be used to blend in music all together individually. Now I'm going to use this as my MIDI controller. All of these are on a different MIDI channel. I'm going to start with the Voca New Bass, which is on MIDI channel 1. Then I'm going to go to the Voca FM, which is MIDI channel 2. And simultaneously, the Voca Keys and the Voca Bass are together in MIDI channel 3. And we're going to start with a bass line from Ah, <sighs> the Voca bass. Now let's see what happens. Actually, with the Voca beats. Now let's see what happens all together.
It's a bass line. Let's throw in a trumpet. mix to bring up whatever you want. You could bring up the bass, you could bring up the trumpets, you could bring up the lead, you could bring them all down if you wanted to. You can make them sound flat, you can make them sound a little sharp, you can make them sound fuzzy. See what I'm doing now I've set all of the vocals on automatic so I've played all these individual notes but they are being played on their own on each and every sequencer Again, you've got full control over all of your sounds via the Voca Mix. Do I have a favorite? I do! I do have a favorite in all the vocas, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, my first voca was the voca bass. The voca bass has three oscillators on it. It is an analog synthesizer. You've got full control over the sound that you're trying to create on it. Now, the cool thing about that is, it, since it has a sequencer, it has everything that all the other vocas have, if you learn to control one voca, Guaranteed you will learn how to lo how to control all the other vocals afterwards. Now I will do videos 
on one of these guys. But honestly, this is your Voca bass. You've got three different oscillators on there. You can control them either by having them play individually, mixed, one, two and one, or mixed all three together. Now you can change the wave platform. You can uh, make it sustain. You can control uh, the amplifier and the um, envelope generator. Basically, all of these settings and the sequencer are the same things that exist in each and every Voca. The same sequencer on the Voca beats, same sequencer on the Voca keys, same sequencer on the FM. Basically, if you could learn just one of these, it doesn't matter which one you learn, you can learn all of them. I am a little bit intimidated by the uh, Voca modular, but I, I do have high hopes considering that I can control and do sound manipulation on all of these vocas. I'm pretty sure if I get that modulo, I will figure it out. Now, as I go on and on in the future with my vocas, I will show you the best ways I know how to manipulate the sound, how to use them as sound modules, and how to make just on the fly jams as you go and to have a lot of fun with them. Um, happy hugs, health, and happiness from Las Vegas. I'm Chris, I dig gear, I love guitars, and um, wishing you all the best.